Hey, buddy. Merry Christmas, buddies. Yeah, Merry Christmas, everybody. Christmas Day, state of New Mexico, 30 degrees. Snow on the ground. Beautiful as shit. Fuck the world, we're shooting. That's what you get when you clean your media. Excellent. Tumble the fuck out of them motherfuckers. If it ain't raining, it ain't training. We're out on the Puerco doing some shooting today on Christmas Day because we shoot our guns. Hey everybody, welcome to our newest video. This is that guy, that guy is at YouTube. Welcome to our newest video. It's cold as fuck. We're on the real Puerco shooting today, about 30 degrees. Uh, gonna see how she runs in the weather. Let's talk about your new kit, bud. Yeah, I got a, got some new kit. Got a Rhodesian from Cheaper Than Dirt, 50 bucks. I'm trying my uh, Condor six pack on it, see how that treats me. You notice the last time I was shooting, I had it over here. I put it more towards the center because I was having a hard time getting to this last mag. All this new Glock stuff is all new paint job? Yeah, we, I don't know where it talked to me into painting my gear. You see that uh, Woodland Camo? Painted my Kydex. Um, haven't painted my mags, don't see much point to it. Uh, I need to go through and mark them. Somebody else's mark still on it. See this Kydex? Is that your IFAK? Yeah. Got my IFAK with Techniques American flag badge on it. Yep. Got my Uncle Mike's retention. Pretty good little rig. Made in China, of course. I didn't know that when I bought it. What was that fancy cap you had on your rifle there? Oh, it's just a it's just a muzzle cap that apparently I can't get back off again. Why? Because I got the Rock River Arms brake, not a AT squirrel cage. And I can't get that motherfucker off for nothing, dude. Frozen? I'm gonna have to shoot around it, dude. <laughs> stay frosty. Stay stay frosty, Frosty. Awesome. Let's yeah, you see shoot. I got you see I got this uh compliance brake and it's just a skosh too wide for the A2 cap. Hey, what do you got on the end of your rifle that's new, bud? What happened to your uh what happened to your uh, rubber band? Well, I took the rubber band off. Well, the rubber band broke. So I replaced it with a piece of 550 cord. And I want to hold the toggle down so that when I'm doing transitions and whatnot, my stock doesn't come out of adjustment where I like it. And I decided since I was just fucking tying shit to my rifle like a junk merchant, i tie a cat tourniquet to it. That way it'd be handy. That way I don't gotta, gotta go into my IFAK if I get shot. There's a cow's hip bone down there. I'm interested to see what my 5.56 does to it. Get the shit out of it. What's up everybody? It's 5.05th and this is a long ass shot to take with a Draco. Hanging out? No. Hold on. I gotta hunker down too. Just tell me when it looks good and you're ready. I'm ready. Woo! Here's your piece. What's up, everybody? That was a hard ass shot with a Draco pistol. Hey guys, with it being Christmas time, I've been up at the in-laws a lot, been watching a lot of videos, and I've been seeing a lot of things you guys are doing right, seeing a couple of things you guys are doing wrong. I want to talk about shooting from the prone for a minute. One of the things I've seen a lot of you guys do is when you go prone, you lay out and you keep your toes straight up and down like that. When you go prone, you want to kick your toes out like that. As flat as you can get that foot to the ground, the better, because you're going to be more stable. Another thing I've seen is a lot of guys are having a lot of trouble keeping low when they're in the prone. Now it's a problem because you know we all got these magazines on our chest and all this horse shit and with the 30 round mag your rifle can only get so low. Your rifle, your rifle keeps you from getting lower. So one of the things you guys want to try, one of the things you guys want to go out and try is you want to try shooting with your rifle sideways. You can sight over the charging handle, you can sight over the forward assist and still get pretty close to hitting what you're shooting at.
Another thing you guys are going to want to work on from the prone is your reload because you're laying on your mags. Miller 420K, he's got a really nice reload. I like to do it a little differently. Because I'm laying on my mags, I like to roll. So what I do is, the gun goes down. Got to get my bungee off the fucking thing. The mag comes up, gun over, mag out, mag in. Papa Bear was, Papa Bear gave me a call the other day. I said something about how I use Dickie's brand work pants in New Mexico as camouflage. He said, do you really wear them? And I said, I live in them, bro. I train in them. They're great pants. They're denim, 20 bucks a pair, tan, really blend good to my environment, lasts a good long time. Dickies. Give me some of that Dickie money. Give me your Dickie money. <laughs> You need to tell me I'm shooting high? I haven't hit that fucker once. Yeah, once. Why don't you film it and I'll shoot it. <laughs>